I wish it was still going on. <laughs> I like to hear it. Justice Andino is struggling with his emotions. I am. I'm going to miss it a lot. Um, After more than a year of living on the grounds of Camp Hope, you felt uh, safe. And being supported by this community. Like the people give a shit about you, you know. He says these are tears of joy and it's time to move on with his wife, Tracy. We're waiting on our apartment to get be ready. Thursday evening, they were the final two people to exit one of the largest homeless encampments Washington has ever seen. Safe place for a lot of the homeless people that really needed help. At one point, organizers claimed more than 600 people lived on this Washington State Department of Transportation property in Spokane's East Central neighborhood. No one in the city has done and accomplished what she's done for the homeless. The Andinos are talking about Julie Garcia and volunteers with Julie helping hands. No one's put their, their neck out there on the line. After 18 months, and we all need a break, $25 million from the state and countless hours of collaborating with other service providers and volunteers. Garcia says more than 200 people from Camp Hope entered some form of transitional housing, apartments. So these are the badges that were just turned in before everyone left. Yeah. Or were eventually connected with family. Is that Chelsea? Catalyst. Karen has her own apartment. She's now touting this as a successful model for sanctioned encampments across the state. We could just come in with housing and say, here's your housing and they aren't gonna take it. It's the fact that we built a relationship and we built trust. That's a lot of money, but not much outcome. But Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward says Camp Hope didn't work out for everyone. It should have been closed sooner. And many former campers ended up in the city's main shelter. Because we had a better alternative where people could have a bed, three meals a day, and access to wraparound services and not be in a field with six inches of snow on the ground. Woodward is also reminding everyone this encampment was illegal and extremely costly to neighbors and the business community. Some people got robbed. We understand that there are rapes. We've had people expose themselves. Drug dealing constantly. Got people broken into their places. Back in December of 2021, Garcia hijacked this washed out land to protest the lack of shelter space in the city. Well, this happened because of state policy. It also led to a tense standoff between the mayor and Washta. It's their property. So we don't have authority to remove individuals. They have full jurisdiction over their own property. We rely on the local authorities. Both sides still accuse each other of failing to take responsibility. Are you guys good with the city of Spokane? It's been great talking with you. Turning out of this, the sheriff of Spokane, Washington. Camp Hope even made national headlines after former Spokane County Sheriff Ozzie Konizovich threatened to sweep. This is the prime example of the failed policies of the radical left. Then in the fall, it all started to change for the better. So we'd pivot and try again. Fencing went up around the perimeter. Private security started patrols. A badging system was created. New campers were prevented from coming in. And the ones remaining were gradually transitioned into housing. Three people died here. Two people overdosed in December of 2022, and one person killed himself. Garcia says Camp Hope was never meant to be a permanent solution. This needs to be a stepping stone. And admit some of the homeless they were trying to help violated rules and ended up back on the city streets. More than 200 have left the camp. We don't know where they are. But Garcia says they're not giving up and will resume outreach in the coming weeks. They're all people. The mayor says she's trying to help her community heal after this ordeal and wants to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. There needs to be a transitional model where we take someone from an encampment or uh, out on the street. We get them help at an emergency shelter. As for the Andinos, they're not looking back but are thankful for this Camp Hope community. I know their stories and I truly love them. That walked with them until the very end. Only way up from here is up, so, um, and that's, that's where we're going.